Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to make a saganaki, which is basically a fried Greek cheese. Now you need to get yourself a nice cheese. This is a packet that they sell them already pre-cut, but you can go get a nice piece cut from your delicatessen into a size. You can see here they're about one centimeters. You don't need it much thicker than that. Um, this is from Baldoni. They've got them pre-packaged, um, easier for you to use. Um, basically all you do is you just wet it. So I just put this under the sink, ran it for, under the water for a couple of seconds. You then have a plate with flour. Okay, very simple, this is just plain flour. You just place the cheese on and pat it around and as you can see it forms a little coat of flour on the outside. Okay, you've got your fry pan here ready to go. It's been sitting there on a medium heat so this should be ready to go now. Let's throw it in and test it out. Perfect. Okay, not too hot. You don't want it to burn. So, the process here is you don't want the fire to be too hot or the, the oil to be too hot because it's just going to burn the flour and just turn it into a nasty mess. Let it cook slowly. Be patient. Um, flipping it at the right time is really important. So, I'll just raise it a little bit. So, this should be ready to flip in about, say, 30 seconds or so. I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to disturb it whilst that coat or crust is forming. And um, I've got a little bit of a secret which I'll show you in a sec once I flip her over. So I think just want to be a bit careful. I don't want to disturb it. This is really a one flip job, okay? So I think this should be okay. Could have been there a bit longer, but we might flip it over one more time. Put up the flame a little bit higher, but you can see it started to form the crust. It probably needed to be there another 30 seconds or so. I'll be a bit more patient with this other side. And um, we'll come back to the next phase. Okay, this side is ready. I'll just flip it on this side just to get the right. There you go, it's much better. Okay, we'll give it a few seconds here. Now, this is the part which most people like. So, you get yourself a bit of brandy, okay? And then, Opa! That's the secret. So basically, little let the, let the flame go through, and as you see, the flame will extinguish. You can add a bit more. Um, but basically, the alcohol burns off, and the brandy gives it a nice little flavour. The um, rest of this is quite simple. We'll take it off the pan. a bit. Oh, it's beautiful, so soft and the aroma is heavenly. Okay, so the saganaki is ready to be eaten. So all you need to do with this is basically a bit of lemon. Now, be liberal with your lemon. Okay. Got the people waiting over there for a piece, but I'll just cut a piece to give it a taste test. Remember this is hot cheese, so don't burn yourself. But have a look at the consistency, you know, really soft, nice crust. Beautiful for an entree, um, beautiful to accompany your other um, entrees um, as a starter to before a barbecue. Amazing. No need to add salt. You can top it up with some parsley if you want. A um, bit of chili. Absolutely beautiful. So enjoy. Hopefully it's so easy to make. Subscribe and please look at my other videos as well. Thank you.